The Caesar cipher is one of the simplest and widely known ciphers. Uh, it is also one of the earliest known ciphers through history. The Caesar cipher uh, being named after Julius Caesar and was used at the time to communicate with his generals, uh, hopefully in a secure way. He uh, lived in uh, the time 100 BC to 44 BC. And uh, during his time, this cipher would have been considered uh, relatively secure, as uh, most during his era was unable to read. And uh, if they, if someone came across one of his ciphered messages, they would probably think it was written in another language. Uh, but today, this offers essentially uh, no security. So, how does the Caesar cipher work? Um, well, we, it, it is quite simple. We have uh, 26 letters in the alphabet, and for each of the letters, it is being shifted a specific number forward in the alphabet. So, for example, A, uh, if we use a shift that is a, a number 3, then A would become shifted forward 3 letters in the alphabet. So, A would become uh, B, C, D. So, it become A will become D. And similarly, for B, it would become E, C becomes F, D becomes G. And then at the end of the alphabet, when we get to Z, then we will actually map it back to the beginning. So Z would become A, B, C for a shift of 3. So Z would become C. So in as we saw, every letter is shifted by 3. And if we would have a plain text attack at noon, then encrypted, this becomes something unreadable. Um, and uh, we can notice here that A becomes shifted forward by 3, then becomes D. And similarly, T shifted forward by 3 is W. And uh, if we have this ciphered text, then we can quite easily also map it, map it back to the original message by, by, by uh, subtracting the shift. So D becomes backward shifted, so subtracted 3 to become A. So mathematically, the encryption function is E of X. We take the letter X and we add a shift. And then we also have it modulus 26. So to, to be able to have that, if we are at the end of the alphabet, then we map it back to the beginning. And the decryption function, D of X, is simply, uh, as we mentioned, it's uh, the letter, and then we subtract the shift, and then we take modulus 26. So, as we saw in the previous example, the shift was 3, but we could just as easily imagine any shift from 1 to 26, uh, in this case, the length of our alphabet. So, uh, for example, we could use the shift by 4, four 5, etc. So, the problem with this cipher, however, is that it is very easily broken. Uh, we can do it by brute force. For example, we can simply try with a shift of 1 and uh, look at the, the message, Does it, is, is it readable? And if it's not readable, then we, we check a shift of 2, etc. until we get to the end, which is 26. And uh, uh, we continue doing that until we get a readable message. And so, since we have a fixed number of shifts to try on a message, on a ciphered message, then then this is done in a constant time. So to be able to break the Caesar cipher, it is done in constant time, which makes it a very bad, uh, very bad um, cipher. So in the next video, I will uh, code the Caesar cipher in Python. If you're interested in how that looks. Uh, check out the next video. The link will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video.